Chief Dele Momodu, the publisher of Ovation International, has said that the Southeast governors are behaving as if they owe President Muhammad Buhari the whole world. He said this on Wednesday in an interview with BBC Igbo. While explaining reasons why the struggle of Namdekanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, for the region has yet to yield any significant progress. According to the publisher, the continuous marginalization of the region can be traced to the inability of the political, religious, and traditional rulers and leaders in voicing out their grievances to the federal government. For the region to regain its rightful place as part and parcel of the nation, the publisher advised that the government should reach out to the people. He said, a lot of people initially didn't want to support IPOP or Namdekano, but now people can see what he is fighting for. So what government needs to do is easy for them, reach out to the people. To make matters worse, the so-called leaders and elders in those embattled areas are not even saying a word. With all due respect to the governors and your National Assembly members and your political leaders, your cultural leaders, they are not ready to listen. If they had, if they had tried from the beginning to reach out to give support to this man, Namdekano, maybe things would have been better, but now. But now I see even the governors carrying on as if the old Buhari, the whole world. I don't know why, and I don't know why, and that is what is getting Namdekano and his pool angry. That why are we behaving like this? Everybody should respect the president of a country. That is fine, but that respect should not turn into something else. When you begin to act, like you have no right to whatsoever in the country called Nigeria. Chief Dele Momodu advised the Southeast governors to stop worrying about what the federal government wants them to do and urge them to speak up if the government fails to do things for their people. He said, I can only advise the governors, but I think it is too late. To serve the interests of their people and stop worrying about what the federal government wants them to do. If the government is doing things for your people all well and good, thank you, sir. When it is not doing, speak up. Our people are feeling marginalized. Speak up. We have people in the State House of Assembly. Please, tell me if you have heard anything from them saying... President Buhari, we are the representatives of our people. We feel aggrieved that we are being harassed, that we are being terrorized on one side by terrorists, on the other side by the army of occupation. So, has anybody made any attempt, any effort to reach out to these people? They are Nigerians like you and I, he said. The Igbos, according to the publisher, gave a lot by contributing to the growth of the economy. He asked, why are they being treated like a third-class citizens? The Igbos, they made sure they, that they give a lot to this country, but they, are, they, but they contribute so much to the economy of this country. So why are they being treated like a third-class citizen, he asked. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning what Chief Dele Momodu have said? Do you agree with um, his uh, opinion on this issue? That the Southeast governors are behaving as if they owe Buhari the whole world. Well, that is what it is.
What do you think, guys? Do you agree? Is Telling Momodo spot on on this particular issue, as it were? Well, let's uh, look at it. Let's look at it and uh, see if he is actually right or wrong. The question number one is, the Southeast governors, what is their contribution to the people? Ever since the fight and agitation for Biafra has begun, what has been their contribution to the agitation? The question is, or the answer is, I don't think there is any contribution from them. Rather, they have continued to relax, sleep, dine and wine with the powers that be in the presidency, all to the detriment of their people. This is sad and unfortunate. I stand to be um, corrected if I'm wrong. So Chief Dele Momodu has said it now. Despite being treated as if they're third-class citizens, the Southeast governors are behaving as if they all worry the whole world. Can't they rise up on their feet and speak? If you're doing well, if the president is doing well for the Southeast, go to speak to him. You appreciate him. But if he's not doing well, you speak up because it is the people that deserves to feel better and not the president. The president was appointed and he's going to be president for a particular period of time, after which he would leave. So the question is, why are the Southeast governors afraid to speak up for their people? Why are they afraid to speak against the government? Why are they afraid to speak truth to power? I think these questions are the questions that we should ask the state governors and they deserve to answer it. It is really, really sad and unfortunate. And um, it is really, really unfortunate, honestly speaking. But however, with the way things are going, with the way things are going, I think, to a very large extent, the Southeast governors and their leaders are scared to speak up, probably because they have one or two interests here and there, or they plan, they, they, they want to, um, they want to feel comfortable collecting the little crumbs that falls from the table, and they satisfy themselves and their families. Probably that is the reason why they are not speaking out. And that is why you see Enamikano is fiercely angry with the leaders of the Southeast, as it were. And he is not giving up, but rather he is ensuring that on his own side, he does whatever he thinks that he can do to make sure that things go well for the people of the Southeast. Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story, as it were? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share this news story with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.